Palmer pushing back. Uh, we're ready to go at the MCG, and Jeff White gets the first tap. Green straight to Maloney, back in the team, and right to the square. Neats! Oh, how easy was that? We saw Matthew Richardson able to shrug Shane Parker aside a couple of weeks ago. And if that's any indication, David Neitz could have a big day as well. Well, yes, very well done by the Dees. Quickly out of the square. It was a kick by Maloney. They just get in long. They've got the two tall targets, Neitz and Holland up forward. And just eases around and slots it through the middle. That is not a promising sign for Fremantle, but it's a wonderful start for the Demons. And Maloney straight away showing his uh, pace and Great depth. Great start to the Demons. Yeah. Back in the centre, White gets it down. Tries to shuffle it over towards Maloney. Now a chance for Mundy. First game for the Dockers to cook. A long penetrating kick into the goal square. It's a mark. A free kick, in fact, it'll come back to Farmer. It was marked by McFarlane, who has started forward, as Chris Connolly told us before the match. But Jeff Farmer, well, it was a dream start for David Neitz. And Jeff Farmer against his old team from point blank range. Should kick three medals first, and he does. The Dockers on the board at the MCG. Three of the handball missed the mark. This to Melbourne a chance. McLean dribbles it along the ground, gets it to Uze. He's at half forward. Needs leads for him. He ignores that. Goes to a vacant goal square. It's bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. It's through. The second goal to Melbourne. And it was missed by the umpire. So Melbourne still. An opportunity here, Holland. Deft little top tap down, Uze almost. Socket by Holland is a goal! Incredible stuff from Ben Holland! Brown he left it behind, uh, gave Pavlich and now Farmer a chance! And he takes it! So far, but Maloney equal highest on the ground with five. Good spoil applied there on Ben Holland. And now Davey into the square on Neitz is on his own. Parker fell over. Neitz kicks the goal. Towards Neitz and Uze. Thornton trying to apply the pressure. Somehow Uze got boot the ball, but Parker in the way for the Dockers. Now he's got a loose player in the midfield. Matthew Carr kicks further afield. Hazelby's found space. Looping handball. Mundy. Game number one. Wobbly old kick. In fact, a floater towards full foot. McFarlane! Interesting kick off the boot of Mundy, but it floated over the Melbourne defence, and Luke McFarlane, who has started at full forward this afternoon, has marked a very difficult football coming in. Yeah, great mark. Great build-up by Frio, but once again started by Parker in defence. He's just been such a great player for him over so many years. Doesn't get too many accolades, Parker, but uh, playing a good game today. 1-2 from set shots, Fremantle in this first quarter, and they've missed some easy opportunities. And he doesn't miss that one. Luke McFarlane narrows the margin Jane, to six Robert points. Time, matching up OK at the moment, three men. Bell, Smith, now Pavlich from outside 50. Kicks out wide, one-on-one -on -one Medhurst. He just lent on Bizzle. The kick had enough depth on it, and Medhurst was able to hold his ground, hold Bizzle underneath the football, and mark comfortably in the end, and he'll kick from... Just 40 metres on a slight angle. Great little hit on by uh, Bell there, but good signs for Fremantle. Mm. Both Medhurst and Farmer getting a bit of the ball. Well, Medhurst has just kicked three goals from seven his last seven appearances at the MCG. Hardly a return of a, a top-notch, high-quality forward, but he kicked four last week for the Dockers. A chance now for his first of the afternoon. To put the Dockers in front. Medhurst comes in and kicks it. The Dockers in front at the MCG. 4-3, four, four, Freo generating out of the middle through. Hazelby and now Mundy. And gets plenty on the kick to full forward. Look at McFarlane go! He's taken it. Oh, it was all set up for him. And Fremantle really giving it to the Demons early. After uh, Melbourne got away to it. Just a handy lead. This was all set up. For the marking power of Luke McFarlane. And yeah. really good Just to see it. the young kick Mundy go long, put the ball deep into the goal square. Good sign. So McFarlane for his second.
made an impact. Had an impact, McDonald. And eventually a free kick. kick plucked out for a high tackle. So James McDonald at the base of the pack. Comes up with the football. Wobbly old kick towards his captain, Meats. Ball to the back. Robertson did brilliantly. Meats can run in and kick his third, and he does. With the football in this first quarter. High towards Pavley 2 1. One out on Miller. It plays on quickly. Right that was that kick. He wants to play on. Handball over the top. What's McFarlane going to do from here? He kicks a goal. He could have given it to Longmuir. But the Dockers back in front now by yeah, six points. I mean, their best ever first quarter away from home. Carr into half forward again. They've found a passage to goal. Pavlitz is an important link. He had to squeeze that kick up to the square. Oh, oh. big luck is going again. Oh, Matthew Pavlitz kicks it down and Luke McFarlane. He's going to line up for his fourth goal. What a sensational grab. <laughs> Pavlidge is on fire at the moment. He's had six possessions in this first quarter, but this young man here, what a sensational grab. If you have a look at the Fremantle forward line at the moment, if you're going to pick their four goal kick kickers, Medhurst, Farmer, Pavlidge and McFarlane, they've all had outstanding first quarters. Well, he's thrilling everyone at the moment through for his fourth goal in the ball. Shammer likewise. He has a crack at ground level. Medhurst trying to find some room. That little right kick back. just over the top. Couldn't quite get Hazelby on the first effort. Gets it away though to Josh Carr. There's a whistle. It's coming back free to kick. Hazelby. Hazelby. Yep. So free kick to Paul Hazelby, who is within range. Just kicked the two goals two for the year. Looks like after he's done the tackle, it slipped across his ankles, down to his ankles. The trip has been called. Big job for Rivers now is on McFarlane. Always difficult to go onto a player who's red hot. And this oh. to make it six out of the last seven goals. So. Did it carry the distance? Yes, it did. There's the nod. There's the Line fingers. Five. It's an area of the game that's let them down this year. White wins it. There's a whistle. Which way will it go? It'll come back to Jeff White. Against Longmuir. Now, he thought about flirted going wide to Rigoni. Instead, kicks long towards Robertson, the target. Oh, good leap. Has he been paid? He's been paid a free kick for a hole. Against Parker, who started the day on Neats, who's now got the job on Robertson. Neats kicked three goals in that opening quarter. And right. Russell Robertson will kick from just outside 50 for his first of the afternoon. Game number 150. A great achievement. He comes in. It's a wonderful kick. He's kicked the goal for goal. And does. Towards centre half forward. Meets his one out. And what's going to happen here? Free kick. It's going to Fremantle. It's against Shannon Mobley. Chris Hope jumping into the ruck contest, I think. And 50. Into the marking contest, I should say. Thank you. 50 metres as well against Motlop. So let's watch it again. And there's the interference. Motlop, uh, you're right, Andy. Took his eyes off the football charge back into Seagate. And Seagate now has it. Kicks towards McFarlane on the lead. And he marks comfortably in front of Miller. Jeez, they did it really well, Fremantle. They pushed all their forwards back to the goal square. There were six forwards back in the goal square. Left a massive big hole to allow McFarlane to, to lead into. So Luke McFarlane, what a remarkable start to this match. He kicked four goals in the first quarter. We're five minutes into the second, a chance for his fifth. He comes in. It swings back and squeezes through. McFarlane has five. Davey left it behind. Walker gets it to Thornton. And now they sort themselves out. Kick poke pretty well through to Shammer. Streaming down the ground, Fremantle have worked it well right towards Longmuir. Just couldn't get it. Farmer, he should eat this. Oh, yes. He's put it through. Jeffrey Farmer, he's kicked another one. And Fremantle are certainly on fire at the end. Watch out in terms of tight. Brock McLean oh. built it. He could get a free. Play on is the call. Seagit kept his footing. Thornton, Parker, and now they're away under the wing. Diesel to try and stop, but he can't. Headland 
Got Farmer. He has. He's loose. He's at half forward. He's ready to go. He's got Pavlich calling for it in the square. Farmer might go all the way. Goes for his fourth and says, thank you very much. Oh, cut that Melbourne members. Now they've had five of the last six inside 50s, Melbourne. Just important they sneak a goal here. So Holland in front, Thornton interfered with him, I thought. And the free kick's been picked. That was clumsy free kick from Thornton because he just dragged himself over the top of Holland with no real intent for the football. But it's okay for Fremantle fans because it's Holland again. Now watch it again. There's Thornton and just a bit clumsy over the top of Holland and Holland made the best of it and made the most of it. Well, that's the worry. Ben Holland's got a big, strong body. Thornton's still a developing player. He's always going to be worried on a one-on-one, body-on-body -on -body type contest, so he had to try and use his loop. Well, he hasn't, wouldn't have been too happy with his last two attempts. This time from closer in, from 35 metres, comes in, drop putt, oh. it's close, it's home. Easy. Uh, Miller. Now he's got a loose player in white, so now the Demons are away. And, and play on Jeff White at half-back, draw the player over the top to Bell. Promising build-up now as they switch play a couple of times. Long towards Uze, in front, mark taken by Green. So Melbourne have certainly taken control in the midfield over the last 10 minutes. And this is an opportunity for their second goal in that period to narrow the margin further. Well, it was a good build-up. They were patient back in their back 50 where they switched the ball across. They were able to free one up. And it was a long kick inside the forward, the, inside their forward 50 that gave Green the opportunity to mark. So Brad Green from 45 metres kicks it beautifully. Another goal to the Demons. And now Wheatley and the Demons will set up across half back. They've got a real task here for him in trying to control Jeff White's influence on this game without Longmuir. Holland is presenting that's the other big problem for them Ben Holland charging out takes the mark and we present it nice and hard up the middle of the ground that more importantly and uh, good kick here by Jeff White get it in nice and deep Holland on the lead well they've, they've chosen to play McFarlane forward and as a result they are down one tall defender and that's why uh, Johnson and the like have uh, had their hands full with Big Ben Holland. And he's got his kicking boots on finally. That's his third. It's midway through the second turn. The margin now is 19. Now there's a whistle here. I think it's a free kick to Matthew Pavlich at centre half forward. A Melbourne trainer was uh, somehow interfering with play, Hutto. I'm not sure how the umpire saw that, but that's clearly what he indicated. Well, Pavlich passes it to Black, who's a millimetre or two closer to goal, but on a worse angle. He is a penetrating kick. Will he have a crack at them? Well, he does. Oh, oh well kicked. Great strike from Black. And they strike back. So White gets it out, down to McDonald, kicks it long towards full foot, Neats this time low down. So Holland and Neats just waxing down on that Melbourne forward line. And Ben Holland now an opportunity. The margin is 19 points in favour of the Dockers. And what we, we say it time and time again, the quick kick out of the middle. Doesn't have to be perfect, get it in quick. Give you, give you a forward a 50-50 contest. He's, he's happy with that, particularly David Neitz. Neitz kicked three goals in the first quarter. Now kicks his fourth. Just. Overhead mark. Neitz well up the ground from 4-4. Green just tacking. Look at Maloney. Treading water and getting it along to Uze this time. Parker out of position. Did he get yeah, he did give away the free? And listen to the roar of the Melbourne fans. They like that decision. There's a few others they haven't liked so much today, but they enjoyed that. Well, you just sense now, three men are under pressure. Let's see what they've got. Their senior plays, they're here on the MCG. They're up against a good team in Melbourne. They need to stand up. 
Been a goal kicker this year, Adam Muse. 13 for the year. Cuts the margin, back to six. Pavlich right on the line, Max. Matthew Pavlich, little chip kick. Headland needs to be good here, needs to keep his feet. Play on the call, he's over it. In fact, it's a free kick to Headland. So just outside attacking 50. And there's 50 metres, is it? No, I think... No, uh, oh, gee. Fremantle player yeah. right through the mark. Well, he was unlucky because he found Farmer on the lead and now it gives Melbourne a real chance to get numbers back. Jeff White. And there's Medhurst running across the mark. They're trying to drag his Melbourne opponent through and perhaps milk 50-metre penalty. But there's Hedlund from outside 50. Chips it short, dropping into space, Peter Bell. Well, they did it pretty well. He was patient, Steve Hedlund, and what? waited for the opportunity to come, and Peter Bell now must kick this goal for the Dockers. Yes, there was nothing much else on. Melbourne got plenty of numbers deep. Was able to get a short one to Peter Bell. Kicked a couple of goals last week for the Dockers in their win against the Blues from 45 metres. Comes in, kicks, and squeezes it home. The Dockers by 13 points. Back to get a loose man going through the middle. Godfrey. He's got Green leading. He's going to go down to Holland. Well, he's got two to beat. Cart should be able to come in and spoil. He couldn't. Oh, he couldn't mark. stop Russell Robertson. Great mark, wasn't it? He went back hard. And... It might have been Carr that might have almost got the fist of the ball at the back there. Yep. Did very well to hold on to that. Yeah, he did get the fist onto it, but just not enough to stop Russell Robertson from dragging it down. He's kicked one goal one. He's taken just the two marks today. To cut it back to seven points. It's a lovely kick from Russell Robertson. Well on his way again this year with 15 already. So back in the centre, Longmuir again to try and compete with Jeff White. He beats him comprehensively, does White. Matt Carr, handball, a little wide of Grover. He had to stretch for it, allowed Davey in. Scrambles a kick forward. Neats waited back and run in and kick a goal. He has. David Neats has kicked goal number five. And the margin all of a sudden down to just a point. Farmer delayed the kick. He was looking for someone to present, but guess who gets in the road? Oh, Jeff White, he's just dominant. And they're running. And they are running. Green with his left foot. Floats it onto the wing. James McDonald back on the ground. Just got the kick away. Holland or Robertson! Ben Holland is coming off the ground. But the last two marks that Robinson has taken, Holland has been instrumental. He's had body in both contests. Just watch him here. He's forced one player down. Another, he forced another one to go around. Robinson was able to take the mark. And he converts and the Demons are back in front of the MCG. Match 7-0 to zero in this third term as Justin Longview tries again. Will come kick. forward? Which way will it go? Melbourne again, everything running the Demons' way. They lead by five points. If you have a look at the hits, though, every every white uh, hit out has virtually gone forward. They've just got to cover that hit forward. McDonald to Robertson. Well, Russell Robertson's come alive in the last five minutes. And a chance for his third goal in four minutes and 50 metres. I think against Anthony Grover, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure completely what it was for. No, it may have been Justin Longmuir. And that's a giveaway. As Pavlich engages Jared Rivers. And here it is here. White and Longmuir. Oh, oh gee. 50 for that. Turn You're kidding me, aren't you? Robertson kicks a goal. They have been smashed in this quarter. Bell provides a target along the wing. We'll look to loop up and try and create some run. They need to do that. Thornton goes searching. 
for Midhurst. He did well. Lead Bell underneath the ball now. He needs to score a goal here. Strides away and poked it with a oh. centering pass. Just what Justin Longmuir didn't need with a little hospital kick. <laughs> and Rivers felt it. Oh, he did well to hold on to that Longmuir. Long Oh, he was going for the thigh. Because they both went for it, though, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Well, he just has to kick a goal here. And he does. Gives them hope. So Longmuir, after that goal, back in the centre to compete with Jeff White. White, well, in fact, it was a bit of a line ball as Carr kicks it forward to half forward at the back. Oh, big oh. mark. Taken by Hazelby, out wide to Black. Now Pavlich is running into the pocket. Can he get there? No, he can't. Miller falls over. So does Pavlich. He turns on the tackle. Headland, little fumble. He goes back and gets it. Well done, Headland. Handball back into the path of Pavlich. He can get a goal. How good and was he that? Does. Great stuff, Fremantle. They've responded and they're back in front, if you can believe that. The Dockers by a point. And Matthew Pavlich has been outstanding. 10 marks, 22 possessions. And his first goal of the afternoon. Great mark from Paul Hazel. Have a look at this by Matthew Pavlich. Back onto the ball. Was able to release the ball. And Headland was good over it as well. He needs to step up. Matthew pa Pavlich. He plays on star. as he's done all afternoon. Kicks it into the pocket. Headland, good hands. Neil, good mark. Da Neil Danaher would have to be thinking now. Almost time to make the move. Matthew Pavlich is dominating. Miller playing on him. So Headland now being brought right around on the angle. Finds himself almost in the construction zone. That's a look at what confronts him. Decides to kick back and oh, over the head of Black. Play on the call. Pavlich from 55. Can he spot a target? He can. Mark taken by Webster. You've got to sell him down. As the time ticks down to three-quarter time. And Mark taken. Inside attacking 50 by Anthony Grover. And the siren will go now as Grover contemplates this shot at goal to extend the Fremantle lead. And what a comeback by Melbourne in that term to hit the front by 11 points. But equally, you have to have great admiration for Fremantle because Melbourne, everything was running for them. They were playing great football and they've kicked the last two goals as Grover comes in from out inside 50 and he's kicked it. What a performance by Fremantle to kick the last three goals of the quarter. And they go into the three-quarter time break, leading by seven points. What an amazing quarter, Steve. Oh, it was, and uh, they, they put themselves back in the ball game. Freo kicking the last three goals. Melbourne, terrific quarter. They're in the hunt as well. All oh, stands to be fantastic. Forward. Robertson's coming. Good work from Mundy. He's been all right. And uh, links up nicely with... Thornton and now Bell making space for the Grover kick. He's got a man on. Guess who it is? Matthew Pavlich. Really running Miller all over the ground. He can loop it over the top. Josh Carr. Will he break and go? He doesn't. He waits. He looks now for the lead from Medhurst. He's going to kick from 52 and a half. He doesn't think he can make it going back, so he just lobs it to the square. Look at Farmer go! Oh! Jeffrey Farmer takes the mark. And gives us a little party trick to go on with. Didn't he read it well? He had uh, oh. Longmuir just creating the screen. Oh. Now he's, he's talking to the umpire have a look here. Where he marks he his... marks his, Let's have a look. He marks it right there, which oh, is pretty is much right on absolute the goal line. Right. Look, look where, look where it, he is. Yeah, that's that's just that is disappointing. Just absolute rubbish. Oh. But anyway, that's the way it goes. Farmer needs to go this for Fremantle. What a start for the last quarter. He rams it right through the middle. Oh, what a quarter we've got ahead of Jim us Miller now. again, one-on-one. -on -one. Pavlich, best recovery. Needs some assistance. Didn't get it. Bizzle. Campbell over the top. Maloney tries to crash his way through and does. Got through black too easily. Kick towards half forward. Jeff White can run on. He can kick a goal from here, Jeff White. Runs to 45. Drives it goal with vacant goal square. Coming out, Johnson is a free, free kick. kick. It'll come to Holland. It'll come to Ben Holland. And the umpire just marking the mark. Didn't see it. Didn't see what it was for. Had eyes for Jeff White. But Ben Holland can just waltz in here and kick his fourth. 
couple of steps, he pops it through. The quick reply to the Demons. Um, and now Cook trying to apply the tackle. On oh. Bizzle, and he did it well. Again, he hunted him down. He just got boot to ball. Bell, the Frio captain, getting plenty of it at the moment. Sharing it around. Grover, back to black. The long left footer is deadly. Oh, what a deadly kick from Black. Oh, yeah. Hurried one to Bell. He's now being tagged by Gro uh, by Godfrey. Could have won himself a free then. Didn't, oh, well but done, still Peter he boxes Bell. on. And now we're going to see a bounce. Couple of great efforts by Peter Bell. Gee, it's been an amazing game of football. Talk about momentum swings. Fremantle at one stage kicked nine of 11 goals in Melbourne. Nine of the next 11. And the Dockers have kicked five of the last six. As the ball goes to half forward, Uze not quite. Well done, Thornton. Perhaps should have given to Matthew Carr, but he kicked instead. Headland's got a job here. Got to keep his feet. Does it brilliantly. Gets support from Matthew Carr. He's on the wing. Delivers towards half forward. McFarlane running hard. He's got he's there. Quick. He's quick. Too far out to score. Just kicks it up to the goal square. Grover's got to sit and wait. In fact, it's Hazelby. The Melbourne defence arrive in number. Spells to Pavlich. Loose player in the goal square is Farmer. Farmer's going to kick his six. He does. <laughs> oh. Ford looking for a free. Who's a trying to get a free kick there over the top black. And a ball up is the decision. Yeah. The one thing in Melbourne's favour, that'll be a free kick against Ben Holland, will it? Yes, it will. And <laughs> letting Ben Holland know all about it. The one thing in Melbourne's favour is we're only halfway through this last quarter, so there is time as Hazelby sends them forward again. Now there's another whistle here. Downfield again. No, either that or it's coming. Yeah, it now is. Play on. Farmer's going to mark this, and it's been allowed. Jeff Farmer, some confusion for everyone, including us. But Jeff Farmer will kick from 40 metres for goal number seven. Well, I think that was against Ben Holland. Something happened off the ball, and he's given away two free kicks. One was a 50-metre penalty. The last one was the, the, the kick downfield. So it cost him a mistake from Ben Holland. And Jeff Farmer, what a performance. He's kicked six. He comes in, and he kicks his seventh goal. A superb performance from Jeffrey Farmer against his old team. He's come to play today, the Wiz. Don't worry about that. And Fremantle extend their lead out to 27 points. And now a huge challenge for Melbourne to try and work their way back into this game. We've got 10 minutes of actual game time left. Well, the 26 points the margin. It's been a brave and gallant Fremantle this afternoon. Thornton kicks it long. Matthew Carr outmarked by Neeks. Neeks. Kicks inside, attacking 50. Robertson on the lead. Johnson did very well to punch it away. Now a chance for Green. Hard up against the line. Off to Robertson. Left foot from 40 is pretty good. It's across the face. Holland is marked between the goal and point posts. And he'll be on the impossible angle. But Ben Holland, who's kicked four. A chance here to kick goal number five. Now, he needs to come around a bit further than that, I think. No, the umpires let him stay there, which is a bit generous. That's very generous. Holland now, a chance for his 50, runs around and kicks it. Five to Ben Holland. Do you get out of defence? Goes for McFarlane. Was that an infringement? It was. Advantage. Will it be paid? No, it won't. It's well, coming back. Not sure whether it should have been or not. It was a tough call for the umpire. Rivers, a little shake of the head. Quick hem ball off. Near their centre and kick. Farmer not this time, but he's got the recovery. He waits and weaves. Farmer goes to work and finds Hazelby. Who pops up. He's had 23, well, this will be his 23rd possession, Paul Hazelby. Kicked a goal earlier. He's worked hard, Jeff Farmer, hasn't he? He's not only kicked plenty of goals today, but he's set up a few. Well, he's kicked Good seven, vision. seven goals, one. 12 possessions and four marks, Jeff Farmer. The margin is back to 26. There go. Yeah, bang. Didn't help himself by diving, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not too sure whether there's much wrong with that. <laughs> McLean sweeps the handball inside to Ragoni. By himself, front of the centre square. Kicks to the top of the goal square. 
Neat eye in front, Mark taken by Brad Green. So perhaps some life left yet in Melbourne. And Brad Green will kick from just 25 metres, as good as directly in front, to narrow the margin back to 20 points and give them some hope. And as we tick down, just on five minutes of actual game time left. And here's the five minute, five minute warning as Brad Green, normally a beautiful kick for goal, comes in and pops it through. A valuable goal to Melbourne. Margin back to 20 Just points. His shoulder a little and bit. He's waved the trainers away, but it might be a little concern in these last five minutes. All right. Well, the Demons with some hope then. A hurried kick from Hazelby, though. That might end the hope if Medhurst can mark. Yeah. Was it a free? It was. Well, free the kick. The umpire's been on that twice today. Medhurst has used his hands to push his opponent underneath the ball. And 50. It was too slow to return it. Oh, I, I, I tell you, that's a bit harsh. The man was 10 metres back. He threw it high, I know, but how often do you see that happen Lots. and it never paid? I've seen it given back a lot slower than that, Michael. Oh, I mean, it actually geez. went straight to him, didn't it? Yep, he didn't move, and he was a good 10 metres back, so you can't rocket it back. That was uh, pretty harsh, I reckon. Pretty short 50 as he gets it up towards the attacking area. Holland trying to bulldoze his way through, which he does. Speaking of bulldozers, Neitz was there. Bell to mop up, though, and send it to a two-on-one. Medhurst, adrenaline still pumping. Tries to win it for his team, and he does. Somehow gets it to Carr. Carr over the ball. Back it goes to Bell. He gets a handball away somehow to Carr. And they surge forward again. Ferguson, though, in the road. It's all good, though, for Fremantle. They've been able to hold up the Demons' charge for the moment as we tick towards the 26 minute mark. McDonald in trouble, got the handball away, just in time to Bell of Melbourne, kicked brilliantly oh, onto the chest of Neitz. There's a loose player in the goal square, it's Robertson Neitz, doesn't see him in time, and they're able to get back Michael Johnson, getting back there on Russell Robertson. But David Neitz has kicked five. Now what's happened here? 50. 50. 50 metres against Jeff Farmer. Well, I don't know what that was for. Did you get a sense of that, Steve? No, I'm not too sure whether he went over the mark or he didn't come off the back, off the mark quickly enough. Perhaps Whoa. just sensing something here, two boys. Matthew Pavlich straight back on the ground. Well, it's 250s they're giving away. Medhurst and Farmer. Meets kicks goal number six, and all of a sudden the margin just back to 14 oh, points. There. Thornton pretty cool. Out to McFarland, did it bounce? It was over the line. So, still the Demons come as we check how long the quarters have gone so far. 31 and a half, 29 and a half, and 31. High kick from Maloney, into half forward, Robertson! Oh, oh what a beauty! Meets one on one out of the goal square. Now the adrenaline will be pumping with Russell Robertson in game number 150. He hesitates, he knows he hasn't got long. Will he go for the doctor? It's a long one. It's a strong one. Oh, here come the Demons. Oh, Russell Robertson slots his fifth. And there's high fives around the MCG. Here's their time for Melbourne. They've got to get the ball, you would think, from this throw in and just race it down to the other end. No time to waste for the Demons. Can they dig deep and get it out of defence? White gets the tap to give them a chance. Uze. Hazelby extracted it somehow. Handball back to Bell. Back to the line, and it's over and out. Oh, what a stirring finish. The Demons have not given in, but Neil Danaher will really rue this one. Chris Connolly has brought his team today across the Malabar, and they have done a wonderful job. They are hanging on grimly at the moment. McLean trying to get them forward. Hazelby got a handball away. Hurried kick back towards Bell. Oh, Peter Bell, and that'll do it. I reckon he might have split the mark. He might have, but isn't it fitting? He's had, a, ha, had an outstanding last quarter, Peter, Peter Bell. They needed their leaders to stand up when they were challenged today, Michael, and he has stood up for them. Peter Bell, 11 possessions, four marks in this final term and a chance to ice the game.
It's been a seesawing affair. Firstly, one team on top, then the other. But the captain, and there it is, it's all over. A wonderful victory here at the MCG by Fremantle as Peter Bell comes in and pops it through for another one. And the Dockers, what a performance. They've won by 14 points in what was a fantastic effort. Coming to the MCG, Steve, particularly after what they put up two weeks ago against Richmond, which was a deplorable effort, deplorable effort to come back and play the way they did was fantastic.